astronaut. Oh, you want to be an astronaut? Well, that's great. You can be an astronaut. All you have to do is study flying or science, and maybe someday you could be the first astronaut to walk on the moon. No! There already was an astronaut who first walked on the moon. Well, no, not really. Um, that wasn't real. We kind of faked that. That never happened. Not everybody can be a robot politician. See how there's no windows on the side? You see underneath where there's like a pod thing? What's that, right? Take a look at this wreckage. See how there's no plane parts on the ground there? What does that look like? A missile. For what was it, six, seven, eight years, finally mist comes out and says, ah, oh, uh, fires, it got hot, and yeah. it just collapsed. We really have a new kind of progressive collapse that we have discovered here, which is a fire-induced progressive collapse. In fact, we've shown for the first time that fire can induce a progressive collapse. They believe it. That's how dumb people are. People are that dumb. They have video footage. The video footage of the thing being But they're like, oh, you know what? The government said fires uh, brought it down. Right there, that tells me there's some kind of mass hypnosis going on and people are just eternally retarded. Now, did gravity Generally, bring down that building? General. After the demolition? 80%. They, they gra did gravity bring down that building after the demolition? I mean, what is gravity? You tell me. What is gravity? You have no idea. Okay, next question. <laughs> wow. No, here's the difference. We can describe gravity, but when you start asking, like, what it is, I, I, I don't know. Gravity, although it's very weak, is very long range. It can reach across the universe and slow down the expansion of the material that came from the Big Bang, turn it around, pull it back together, turned it into galaxies and stars and eventually planets and a uh, place we could live. We are stardust, as Carl Sagan told us, but there wasn't any stardust in the Big Bang. So we need this part of the story to be figured out. We need this part of the story to be figured out. We need this part of the story to be figured out. How did we come to be able to live here on our little planet when the universe started out without all of these goody things? 500 years of, of modern science, I think it was much more about gaining control than about anything else. Control over diseases, over the human body, over the environment, control over the world. I mean, people often s speak about astronomy and, you know, Copernicus and Galileo and so forth. I mean, the sun is in the center, the, the earth is in the center, who cares? Not everybody can be a robot polish. Mapping the world was the first step to conquering it.